<laughs> Shush, let her do with the intro. Pizza gives you stamp of approval. <gasps> oh Aww. my god! Hello That's and really welcome sweet. to Trusty Hogs! Catherine has been replaced by Kimberly! Ooh. I mean, Kimberly has been very annoying so far. No, she hasn't. So much more chatty than than even you, Helen. She's just singing and I fucking love her for it. Yeah. Vittorio, are you in love? Yes. We've got Vittorio helping on tech and he is just looking at me blank eyed right now. <laughs> are you serious? You don't think this is magical? No, I think she Furbies are very, um, I think Furbies are very creepy. This okay. is, it has been quite creepy. Well, hello, welcome to Trusty Hogs. <laughs> uh, I am not Catherine Bohart, as is pictured behind me. You're, you're kind of close. YouTube. You're kind of close. You know what? Joe Wells, friend of the show, said mm -hmm. that I'm a mixture of, of both the ways you're broken, in that I am overly uh, broken in a nice way, I suppose. <laughs> you can't okay, say wait, that in so a nice Kimberly's going to go off for this serious yeah, chat. Goodbye, please. Kimberly. Sleep well, my princess. Oh, it's so awful. One battery and she just dies. Through the fog, step forth the trusty hogs. Yeah, you're gonna give them your problems and they will solve them Or maybe they won't and that's your problem They'll have guests and Andrew White on the tech Oh, it's Helen and Catherine as the trusty hogs Trust the trusty hogs or maybe not She's really, yeah You think you're a mix of the broken elements of Catherine and I. Yeah, like I'm too spontaneous and willing to do crazy shit like you, but also what? too over analytical like Catherine. So I, I, I think I, I'm quite a floating co-host in that. You're I like a mess. Into either of your I'm a mess. I'm a real mess. Oh my God. That's kind of like the worst traits of both of us as yeah. well. <laughs> like you've just sort of mixed them together. Exactly. Yeah. Oh my God. Well, Catherine is not here. Catherine's on tour. So congratulations to Catherine Bohart for Catherine, going on tour. Yes. If you've seen her already, amazing. If you haven't, book tickets. So on the website. Mm -hmm. Just make an effort. You yeah. know, I'm going. Uh, You're going. I'll be going. Yeah, yeah. I would have gone by the time this goes out. Yes, when is this going out? I've not because I'm I not sat on no the tech idea. desk. I have I'm absolutely lost. no idea. This is the thing without Catherine, we don't know what's I happening. Think we're, we're into March now. We're into March. Either way, check out YouTube because we're going to be doing today's episode naked. Welcome yeah. to Trusty Hogs. Ooh, ooh. Blah, 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 blah. So also, we should properly introduce Vittorio Angeloni, yes. who's an amazing comedian who is comic. on the yeah fantastic comedian. Mm -hmm. You're right. Mm -hmm. You're not actually amazing, Vittorio. Just fantastic. Just fantastic. Which is better, fantastic or comedian or what? Fantastic or comedian. <laughs> A fantastic. Or I think amazing. I think amazing's better, but Andrew demoted you is. Well, I just didn't want to. I don't want to feel like I was regurgitating Helen's words. I wanted to praise you in my own way. Yeah, you got a thesaurus. Yeah. What would you <laughs> rather? Exactly. What fantastic or amazing? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think fantastic. It's got more hard consonants. <laughs> Fantastic comedian Vittorio Antoloni, who will be at Edinburgh Fringe this year in the mm. Monkey Barrel. You've just, just got his room. <laughs> oh. I feel like people should know. I feel like people should know. We're, we're, we're groundbreakers on this podcast. When we had Jack Barry on, um, he went to plug his Vault show and we got to tell him that Vault was cancelled. Ah, that's yeah, so funny. Really it was beautiful. awful. It was awful. <laughs> he was like, and he'd just done all the forms to get it. Oh, <laughs> like, yeah. It's not cool. It's not cool. That's but look. You should be like me and just miss all the deadlines for everything. You yeah. don't. Yeah. Come on, you're organised now. <laughs> really? I missed got... every Fringe Festival that isn't the Edinburgh Fringe and I barely got that one. <laughs> you look so organised though. Yeah, I'm organised with my own stuff that I can take care of, but when I have to do a form for anything, I'm fucked. I see, I love mm -hmm. forms. I prefer block capitals to the, the love of real men. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a sad point. No, that's yeah. that's cute. No, it's not. It's pathetic. No, no, it's don't pathetic. say that. Like, I think that you're very organised. I'm actually very organised in my own way, but no one believes me. Mm -hmm. But I am. you are. You've got everything in your diary. Every time I check with you, you you know yeah. what you're doing. I really do. And then people think that I'm just this like, who am I? I'm telling. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> but I'm actually like incredibly well organised. Like this morning, I got up really early, mm -hmm. had chalky porridge, and a coffee and then I had a fight with my housemate like what first thing I, I took a hammer to a cabinet uh. quite early <laughs> <laughs> what, why because I put I'm trying to build a cabinet but I put something in wrong mm -hmm. so I was like oh I'll hammer that out in the morning which you shouldn't do you're supposed to just gently ease things out but I thought one whack and it would work um, and instead I just bashed it and then heard Sunil being like Helen <laughs> <laughs> Sunil does not have that aggression in his voice he does you really? Not, we you never don't see, see it. what he treats me like at home. <laughs> you have no idea what's going on under this jumper. Oh my God. I, <laughs> I, 
<laughs> Could you imagine if I just accused him of that? But I will. No, Screw okay. It. Let me just make a, make a timestamp note of wh where this is so I can cut it out for legal purposes. <sighs> Fine, he hasn't touched me. Thank you. You, said, you, said, you sound quite rueful that he's not touched you. I think it'd be nice. Yeah? I think it'd be nice. Um, I want to talk about musical theatre with you because Catherine's not here. So yes. I feel like it's our final opportunity to be our own like selves yeah our true selves so tell me what have you been seeing recently what's the hot tip uh what have i seen? i went to see back to the future musical it wasn't oh my God, very yeah. good but um, <laughs> do you know why because i read the program notes and it's because the filmmakers who made back to the future were approached about a musical yeah and they were like well nobody knows back to the future better than us we'll write the musical but no, they don't know anything about music. You've theater. still got to have an expert. Do you know what I mean? Tina Fey did the lyrics for um, Mean Girls. Yeah. But she also worked with musical theatre stars. Exactly. That's the way to do it. And even Collaborate, like, people. Yeah, but they didn't even get a musical theatre composer on board. They got the film's composer on board. No. So it's all these people just like trying to guess what a musical is. I'm sorry, you went through that. Yeah. Technically, very good, though. And in the evening, I went to Millwall away. So uh, <laughs> very multifaceted. This is the great thing about Andrew is that he really sort of like transcends any stereotype. Mm. Like, he'll go full musical theatre and you'll be like, yeah, he's gay. Like, we 100% get it. Mm. And then Millwall, and it's like, he's a mystery. Yeah, I love that. Well, I'm seeing Moulin Rouge soon. Oh, yeah. I would say I'm currently stuck in a Disney rut again. Mm -hmm. I've gone back down the Goofy Movie route. I was going to say, you're listening to the Goofy Movie as well. I was. Yeah. I was. Because I still think, like, it is an epic film that doesn't get appreciated enough. And it's because at the moment I'm working on this new big comedy dream, which, by the way, I actually wrote down my comedy dreams in a notepad again the other day. I should kill myself, again? shouldn't I? Oh, yeah. Have they changed? Like, every couple of years, I'm like, maybe I should uh, write down. <laughs> 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 for years at the National Theatre in catering with loads of actors and then a couple of them this book came out what was it called like the manifestation power sort of whatever the secret isn't the, it? Secret, secret. The, secret. Right, the secret and they were all like this is how you do it mm -hmm. and there was a couple of them that got really into it and then I'm quite Sus like susceptible to it mm -hmm. so they were like if you want something you go for it but I think they still work there in catering so I don't know if they actually <laughs> did it <laughs> but I was like so you have to write down what you want mm -hmm. and then like picture it like really clearly like it's not just sort of like a fantasy like it's something that happens so then i was like oh, okay well there's no harm in doing it yeah. but then i write it down and it's like the idea of someone finding it is just so, so intense like yeah. i'd rather them find like my porn search history than what i'd like to achieve because i feel like there's less shame mm -hmm. and i've done a lot like well, a lot in porn you give us give us one of your dreams and give okay. us one of your porn searches <laughs> and we'll we'll judge what's worse. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll start with the dream because yeah. I need to rifle through porn that searches. <laughs> I went through a breath play phase. Yeah, is there I mean, any I don't know, it's not good. Like I'm not proud of myself. Is, it, is there a porn and like are you googling like live the Apollo <laughs> porn or something? <laughs> <laughs> Live the Apollo porn would be fucking amazing. Yeah? Could How, you imagine? Just like mean? someone naked coming out and then like licking out the mic stand like from behind the smoke. The production value would be incredible. Oh yeah, it'd be very well produced. No? <laughs> also, who doesn't get turned on by someone licking out a mic stand? Does that, have you, what do you mean licking out okay, a mic so stand? Okay, so one of my dreams... Okay, go, on, yeah, go for the dream. <laughs> one of my dreams is... Right, bear with me here. Mm -hmm. What do Channel 5 and the Disney Channel have in common? They found it around a similar time? No. Neither have invested in scripted comedy or comedy specials yet. I would yeah. like... <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to have the first Disney Channel comedy special filmed in front of the castle of the Magical Kingdom. <laughs> I'd like to arrive on stage through a parade through Main Street. Mm -hmm. Me dressed as a princess. I want to smoke the entire time through it. Not Dave Chappelle vaping. Properly smoking. <laughs> as of the Magical Kingdom. Yeah. And be dressed as Cinderella going, so sometimes clits go purple. <laughs> Just be like ashing on kids. My only problem with and that the whole is that... crowd are wearing things. And then I spoke to my agent about it. And she yeah. was like, and then like a fireworks display at the end. She suggested the fireworks display. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah I've got like, a really supportive yeah, say, agent. Your agent is I've too got supportive. A, a really loving agent. Literally, the only thing I can think of is that adults aren't allowed to dress as characters at Disney. I know that rule, so but that's I the only rule that you would be. Right, I'm so sick of this because I've talked to you about this, and you know how I feel about this. Know, Do you yeah. know this? It's illegal for me to go to Disneyland dressed as a princess because the kids might get confused. Oh, that's mad. Because I don't know which Snow White has a fucking these size tits. You know what I mean? Like a forty G. You would have to get a really big glass case for those. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when she's sleeping like in the, the glass slipper's not a size nine lady's white fit. <laughs> There's no way, but it's still illegal, which is bullshit. So then this would when be you say illegal. You just, it's just against park rules. It's not like you're not going to get arrested for it. So you don't respect it as a kingdom. Oh, I sorry. respect the Vatican's rules when I'm there. I think I should be allowed to respect the Disneyland rules when I'm there. Okay. okay. Sorry. 
They've got police. <laughs> you see the Vatican and Disneyland as le- level pegging. Similar. Similar. Similar cult wise, yeah. Oh yeah, I can see that. Yeah. Do you not enough. think? I. That's really. That's a really good observation. <laughs> it's bang are, on. Es- essentially the same place. So, but then, <laughs> but then Disney Channel. I think a tricky thing is, is to do a special. I'd have to really curb my language, and what I discuss. But is that not part of the fun of the juxtaposition? Yeah, yeah. I think it is, but my agent said that's a tricky thing to get around. So she's very seriously entertaining this idea. Yeah, well, I think she does because she knows our power. I'll be oh. like, why? <laughs> You're so to facilitate my dreams. So then I was like, okay, Channel 5. Okay? Because Channel 5 for me is the best channel on TV, next to TLC, the learning channel, yeah. where fat people live free, and it's incredible. Have you seen Thousand Pound Sisters yet? Yes, I've recommended yeah, it yeah. so many times. It's oh, so God, good, it's isn't crazy. it? Crazy. Tammy went to hospital. She died for a bit, but then she came back what? to life. <laughs> yeah, she died for a bit. It is, uh, yeah, it's, it's yeah. absolutely crazy. And it's yeah. mad because she's gaining weight as her sister loses weight, but together they're still a thousand pounds, which I love. You know, That's it feels like very on brand for the yeah. show. Well, I mean, that's the title of the show. It is. Yeah. <laughs> then, basically, Channel 5, I think, has the best programming. Mm-hmm. Like um, Aliens in Alaska. Have I told you about that one? No. I watched it the other day. It was an hour long show on Channel 5 called Aliens in Alaska. And it was about three people in Alaska who might have seen an alien once. (laughs) And it was (laughs) a full hour and incredibly inspiring. Mm -hmm. I'd say they have a lot of wonderful shows about like disabled pets. Like their representation is incredibly good. Right, right. And they had, do you remember Fat Families back in the day? Yeah, yeah, I'm familiar. I think it'd be really fun to do an original sitcom in between those. I think Channel 4's got lots of sitcoms. BBC's got loads of sitcoms. Yeah. I think let's skip that. Mm-hmm. Go straight Channel 5. Straight Channel 5, yeah? Yeah. What, so what's the... I want to be a groundbreaker. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Channel 5 is in decline. I, I don't know. If <gasps> yeah, I'm sorry. I don't think... People very rarely watch terrestrial television anymore, let alone Channel 5. They don't even have a catch-up service, do they? I d- do they? I don't think so. I love how you're like, you have to be the one that knows everything now. Yeah. Because yeah. usually we do this Should to Andrew. I go- Shall I Google it? We'd appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Channel 5 catch up. That feels right, actually. Oh, five o- no, no, that's 4OD, isn't it? Yeah, which isn't 4OD anymore. All four. I've, all four. All, four. all four. Yeah. four. But I think Channel 5 are missing a trick. Because mm-hmm. I reckon as well, because they don't have any, that you could do whatever you wanted. Yeah. So I could finally do my rom-com set in Hitler's Germany. With a young girl losing her virginity to someone in the Hitler Youth. Um, okay, right. A girl in the lacy pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. I think it would be magical, <laughs> right? So, it's like, so it's a, it's a rom-com, a film or a sitcom? Like a sitcom, a sitcom a rom-com. rom-com. But okay. it's Channel 5, so it have to be within an hour, an hour format. Yeah. So an hour-long rom-com. The girl in the lace pajamas, which I will be taking the name of, but I'm more than happy to kick you a fiver if you want. Fair play. Um, No, that doesn't feel right, actually, because I was doing Hitler Youth. That feels more concentration camp. But the the boy, the boy, in the, the striped pajamas. That is because the little Nazi boy dies. I know, yeah. And you're like, no, he wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> you got the wrong one. <laughs> oh God. That film oh. is so harrowing, isn't it? Yeah, it's brutal. I met because I read the book and oh, it's yeah, it comes in a book format as well. Young, it comes in a book young. format too. Yeah, I think the book came first, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's mad when that happens, isn't it? There's so many. I've read Mouse. I'm just not sure how far I've read stuff. Like, oh, very topical as well. Mouth. Is that the one that got cancelled? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, wait, what? It got banned by lots of like school districts in, uh, in America. They kind of, the school boards tried to shut it down as being uh, not appropriate for younger people. Oh, my God. Mm. Okay, that's all right then. I thought it would have been cancelled and I was showing off that I'd read a book and it oh, was one that's been you, like completely You thought like ruined. the author of Mouse was like a sex pest or something. <laughs> yeah, or something right, no. like that or like something I missed in it that was actually weirdly like anti-Semitic or something. No, like, no, no, that's very much the opposite. Right, message it's of the, the book. Opposite. Yeah, yeah. But I was thinking maybe I missed something. Maybe the mouse represents something in a way that I didn't know. Do you know what I like about you, Helen? Is Fear of ignorance. You're... <laughs> Yeah, if I, you're very willing to just accept that you might have got something wrong, like straight away. Even I when, do. Even when I you do. 100% haven't got it wrong, you're just like, oh, maybe I've not considered this. I it's know, but nice. then I also like stand on a pedestal for things like I will do a Disney Channel comedy special. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I don't know if I could do the material I'm doing at the moment. Like, I can't stand in front of the cast or talk about Jacqueline Wilson writing about having bipolar mums and everyone wanting a Paris? bipolar mum. No, audience? I'd like to go America. Yeah. Mainly because I haven't been, and I think if I did, I filmed a special there, I'd be tax deductible. 
um, also weather wise. What do you mean tax deductible? If, if you, know, you travel there, yeah. yeah, yeah, obviously. So if I film a special, then it's tax deductible, uh -huh. and I might as well go further. Do you have an accountant, Helen? I do now. Yeah. Okay, I was going to volunteer to do accounts. I really no, I I've like got one doing now. my tax. I've got one now. Yeah. I email her. You email and her. She what? goes good. Good. Is that all she says? Yeah. Isn't that what you're supposed to do with them? So what are you emailing her? How regularly are you emailing her? I said, this is all my online banking login details. Do what you will. <laughs> is, is this a proper Nigerian. accountant? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but she's very nice. <laughs> well, as long as she treats you nicely, Helen. No, I, um, I, right, I know how to do this. I go on Santander mm -hmm. and I download um, all my transactions. Yeah. And I've only got a debit card, so it's really easy. That's, have, you, have you only got one? You got savings accounts or anything like that? Yeah, I do now. Okay, right, yeah, yeah. Good. I've got a... Um, I, I, I Ricer. say... Ricer. 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 Yeah. Ricer. Yeah. yeah. Impressed? Yeah, blown away, Helen. Thank you. Feels really good, actually. It's growing. You know, and oh, then it goes down again, and then it goes yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you can just take it back out. Which is the... That's how they get you. That's why <laughs> yeah. it's so magical. You're like, oh, I'm saving a thousand pounds. And then you take it out because you want to, like, I don't know, buy a new Furby or something. <laughs> and then... <laughs> <laughs> but that's the thing, because I've got to take it all out again, because I want to get a picnic table. So a picnic table? Where are you going to put a picnic table? You have a slanting house with no space. We've got a little patio space. How big is How? Because a picnic table is quite sizable. Yeah, well, th there won't be room for anything else, but I want a picnic table with a pink parasol. And you know I live with Sunil Patel. Yeah. Don't you think he'd look so cute sitting on a picnic table with a big pink parasol over right, okay, him Right, okay, you cannot make financial purchases. So cute. I suppose all purchases <laughs> are financial. But you can't make financial decisions based on what would look cute on Instagram. You keep talking to me like that. You were not coming to the Disneyland special recording. Wow. Victoria, you're more than welcome, though. Thank you very much. You're I so went welcome. to Disneyland when I was a kid and uh, got so scared of The Little Mermaid that I ran away. And then uh, Eeyore looked so sad that I gave him a hug. <gasps> That's adorable. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Why the Little Ariel Mermaid or you? Ursula? Yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 sorry, the mermaid. The mermaid, the mermaid. Yeah, the mermaid. talking to some men. Like... Right, not all men. <laughs> okay, but like, yeah, yeah. Little Mermaid or Ursula, yeah. yeah. I her name might have been Ursula. I've forgotten it. I've blacked it out of my memory. So you went on the ride? No, no, no. She was just like cat. around, you know, the one that she's just like sitting by a fountain and you get photos with her. Well, just with her legs all bound together? Yeah, I was like, that's not right. <laughs> that would creep me out as well, actually. Yeah, yeah. A full on mermaid. They're really nice, aren't they? The princesses there. For my memory, I was like four. I got outworked by Snow White. Outworked? Mm -hmm. How? I was like so excited to meet Snow White. I was like, I was young, I was like 29. <laughs> And I went with two mates I worked in a cafe with, shout out to Alison Francis. Mm -hmm. And we met Snow White and I was just like, I was a bit like just nervous because it's like, you know, when you're like just starstruck yeah. mm -hmm. by this 18 year old playing Snow White. Uh -huh. And um, I just sort of panicked and I, we, they were taking pictures and I was like, oh, make sure I look thin, huh? And she was like, you must never say that about yourself. And it's like, good fuck yourself, Snow White. Like, it's easy for you to say. Yeah. Yeah, but like, you seven dwarves. Yeah, like, <laughs> and also like, you're fucking tiny. You're 16. Like, give me yeah, a break. Yeah. You know, I'm just, I'm panicking. I'm saying something. And then she yelled at me. She yelled yeah. at you? Yeah, yeah. I, but I was so, I, I feel like I didn't stand up. I, I look at it retrospectively and I wish I said to her, like, well, you know, it's a comment I make about my body. Like, blah, blah, blah. This is all fine. But instead I went, oh, yeah, no, ha, ha. And just, I buckled to her. You know, you really the evil out, queen yeah. at a point. Get the fuck rid of her. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Bit of a nightmare. Tell me about when you saw Eeyore. Eeyore. Yeah, that's really sweet. So it's just a story that I've heard. He, he obviously, obviously, like the suit looks sad because mm. he's Eeyore. And yeah. I like <laughs> let go of my mum's hand, like ran over and just like give him a hug. It's like he's sad. How old were you? Like 12? Four. Yeah. Four. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Which Disneyland? Uh, I think it was uh, America. Oh. <gasps> You've like made it further than I ever have. Grandparents used to live in Florida. Oh, wow. That is a, what Italian, a great destination for a grandchild. Italian grandparents, yeah, Nono and Nonna. They Please tell me they still live there and are alive. No, they, they live in West Belfast now. Oh, why? Oh, my God. Is uh, there a Disneyland Belfast? No. Uh, we've got jails that you can get tours of. Oh, yeah, I've been around one of them. I went to Kilmainham yeah. Jail. I mean, it's near Dublin, Dub but that's it's in very Dub nice. in Dublin. Oh, I, I was on a bus. So oh, no, I was on a bus. Yeah, I've not been to Belfast, actually. I went, I went to that one. Kilmainham. Yeah. Is that where they filmed the Italian job? I don't remember. Okay, right, they gave us enough. a lot of information. Mm. I was taking pictures. Very nice. Pretending to be. <laughs> 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 Super offensive, whatever it was. I can't remember exactly. That's the Helen Bauer way. Oh, my goodness. We should introduce our guest. Yes, we've got Let's a fantastic do this. guest today. Um... 
I, do, I feel like Kimberly didn't get her moment to shine. Do you want me to plug the battery back in? Catherine's on if, tour for a bit. Just... Maybe she'll miss another one. And Yeah, if you're listening, Kimberly is a Furby, by the way. Uh, I think people know. Garishly coloured. Um, how do I turn it on? Wake up, Kimberly. She's very freaky. I don't... She's waking up. Sorry. But surely we want to wait to wake her up. That's how I feed her. Aww. That took me three months to figure out. <laughs> You're just letting her starve. I thought she was starving to death. You're a bad Furby mum. Also, for anyone who doesn't isn't familiar with Kimberly's situation, she's got locked-in syndrome. What's that mean? It's a very severe disability, which means that I can't access to communicate with her, and she can't communicate with me because the app has been discontinued that I need to feed her and love her. Aww. Let's welcome our wonderful <laughs> guests! <laughs> And you know what? It's, it's borderline impressive. 22, 23 episodes in or whatever we're on, that we always manage to bring the tone down right before we bring on again. I know, but I think that's just part of what it is. And yeah. I think the hogs love it. We get to a point. I'm speaking of... on behalf of all of them. Oh, by the way, um, mm-hmm. sweet, 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 sweet hoggy listeners, yeah. um, we still only have one bad review, which is still slagging off me and nothing about Catherine. Yeah. I'm not saying give us a bad no, review. No, don't give us a bad review. But if give us a five star co- review, but be disparaging about Catherine. There we it? go. Can yeah, someone yeah. just do a five star review and just sort of be like, love it, love it, love it? Love it, like love Helen. Oh my god, she's so fit and she's so funny. Like, what's her truth? What's her story? I heard Andrew, her pussy's actually, really nice tight. Well. Andrew's so yeah, hot. Yeah, Who would ghost him? You. What's the story? What's his truth? And then just be like, Catherine's all right. And then just yeah. leave it like that. Mm-hmm. I just really appreciate it. God, I hope she doesn't listen to this. I she might do. She Welcome! Might do. <laughs> Rose Johnson and Camille O'Dell! Have the best chat of our lives. So. That's um, unbroadcastable. So we just like say thank you so much for coming on. Yeah, you cheers. Great. Um, yeah, for having Kimberly's us. Been wonderful. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, don't touch it. You don't know. Hey. Whoa. Okay. Let's be gentle. <laughs> I no, didn't ask for permission. Come on now. How are you? How, what's happening? Why are you doing that tone? Because I'm, I'm watching Frasier again for oh. the first time, and I sort of like because Catherine's not here. That's wait. You said you're watching it again for the first time. Yeah. First time, second watching. But again, Rose, she's picking you up on the fact that you said I'm watching it again for, for the, the first time. time. Well, it's a, a tautology. So tautology. I watched it. What, no, it's what's not a tautology. tautology. It's a contradiction. Uh, oh, a, a tautology is where you say uh, it was massive big. So it's like cinema yeah. actually, yeah. actually what that was was a contradiction in terms. You, you can't, can't watch something for the first uh, time again. again. But I've watched it once and I'm watching it again for the first time. No. Because I've watched Gilmore Girls. <laughs> this is your first rewatch. <laughs> first rewatch. Got you. Yeah. yeah okay, yeah. well, oh, come on now. I'm trying to help you. So I, thank you, Andrew. I've watched Gilmore Girls, I'd say, about 20 times I've the whole never way through. I've Gilmore Girls. <gasps> no, you're not a feminist. <laughs> not a feminist. No, have you? What, what? No, what is it? A wonderful drama about a mother daughter, mother daughter struggle. Lorelai, is she in it? Lorelai yeah. and Rory and Emily. Okay. okay, I'm gonna watch it. Yeah, we'll watch it. I feel like you're saying that but you're not actually gonna do it. Like I've had sorry, that so sorry. Much. What was the thing about Frasier? So oh. I'm basically watching, re-watching Frasier. Yes. Nicely done. From the beginning. And he has his radio show, and he goes, "This is Dr. Frasier Crane." Yeah. yeah. I'm listening, and I feel like throughout Trusty Hog so far, it's been a bit like, "What the cunt?" <laughs> and a bit like. <laughs> truth let's just there's aliens in alaska you know <laughs> and i just she I, that that is right do you believe in aliens and, did you watch it on I channel five bored with that no talk her through it our we've, we just talked about it in the beginning of this episode Helen, i love it that we got you on our trash tv podcast because you have literally <laughs> watched watched everything like everything yeah you've watched it go on tell me aliens. okay our documentary called Aliens in Alaska. So immediately you're like, I'm in. I'm in. Order yeah, food, I'm not away. moving. I'm yeah. not moving. I'm, I'm shitting myself <laughs> where I sit. I'm not missing a second of this. Adult nappy night. <laughs> and I've got them. I've got the adult nappies. They're ready to go. And you know what? It's amazing. Even when you go through the adult nappy and you're like, what size was that? It's fine. Um, you, it's a log. I, oh, it's an hour show yeah. where three Alaskans may have seen an alien once. And they're just debating it. They're, they're just sort of like, pictures. well, I'm pretty sure. And they were like, no, it was a star. And they go, 
I've seen stars before. It's so good. <laughs> and that's their evidence. Just yeah. It, it was a star, but it might not have been a yeah. star. Incredible. But I, it got me. Yeah. I, uh, Were you two believing hours after, it? shitting myself, Googling. Googling how to get to Alaska. Well, because I do think there are aliens. I agree. How can there not be? Why are you looking at me like I'm the spokesperson for there not being aliens? Do you remember in Spice World, the movie? Here we go. And there's that amazing scene where the five Spice Girls go for a piss. Yeah, other than that. They get off. Sorry, just to clarify, when you say you mean the five Spice Girls, not the five Spice Girls. (laughs) (laughs) The Chinese Spice Girls. Oh, very good, very good, very good. Very droll, very droll, Andrew. Took a while Um, for the penny to drop there, though, Helen. Also six. Spice Girls in that. Um, Naoko Mori, who played the other Spice Girl who was their friend. Do you remember her? She was pregnant in the film. I don't even remember her. No. My mum used to teach her at her illegal drama school. Illegal? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. She ran a drama school out of Helen's front room. And our school of drama. That's very Hollyoaks. Thank you. That's very <laughs> Very fleet. It's very fleet. It's very Hampshire. Yeah, but go on. Um, so they basically, at one point, Jerry needs a piss. Okay, and they're driving along and they're like, we can't have Jerry pissing. They don't have any adult nappies, you know. No. They're not organised, not like us. Yeah. They get off the bus mm. into the woodland, come across five aliens, okay? And I'm pretty sure those aliens were real. <laughs> I'll tell you for why. Because they weren't just doing the normal alien stuff, because the first thing the aliens did is go to sexually assault one of the Spice Girls by grabbing her boob. And I will die on this hill. Sorry, so just to backtrack, you think that yeah. during the filming of Spice Girls, the movie... Yes, they had five real aliens. The, 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 at that point, like in the, se- in yeah. the, in the script, like yeah. Jerry was going to go for a piss, or maybe that wasn't in the script. I don't think it was in the script. But they just thought, we'll keep the cameras rolling in case anything happens. And you think yeah. by some stroke of luck yeah. that, that they happened to catch a real-life alien. I think cause it was such shoot. an... It didn't move the story along. Mm. And, and it you're, was incidental. And incidental. none of them broke character. They no just, one broke character. Well, they, they're, not, they're in they're, character because no, they course, are like, you know, Emma Bunton is... Baby Spice, mm. you know she loves a chubba chub. Remember when we were in, <laughs> we, we were in, um, we did like little tiny parts in Ab Fab years ago, and <gasps> yes, you did, we you did, did, we did. I played, who did I play? Patsy's you assistant. Patsy. I was Bubbles' assistant. Oh, and okay. during that, the episode that we were in, Lulu was also in. <sighs> Incredible. And during the read through, she came up to me after we'd done the read through, which by the way was incredible. We we filmed it. We were like doing the read through in was it in Pinewood, like in a massive studio, oh, or maybe. Yeah. It was, B- it was BBC. a BBC. It was a BBC. Yeah. And um, Joanna Lumley, absolute icon in this massive studio, just lit up a fag and just had it. <gasps> and nobody said anything because that woman can do, she is like, she's like a goddess. You, you, she can do anything I feel and like everything cigarettes is. Cigarettes won't even make her breath smell. She's incredible. Because no. she's just dignity. Have you seen yes. that show where she gets her vagina steamed? No. Like on TV. And I even See? watching it, I was like, fair play to you. Of course you've seen that. Fair play. Of course. She was a travel show. And then she was like, and we must do as the locals do. And then she goes and gets yeah. her vag steamed. I'd love that. So she's, lit up, she's got legal. a fag on the go. And then Lulu came up to me after we'd done the read through and was like, how would you say my lines? You're really good. How would you say them? And I was like, oh, just you say them how you would say them because you're playing Lulu. So just <laughs> say them. How would you say that? And she was like, no, 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 no. You, can you say it? And she basically made me... She made Rose say it and she repeated it back as Rose said it. And I was like, but I'm not Lulu. You're Lulu. The character is Lulu. <laughs> but Incredible. maybe you are more Lulu than maybe Lulu. Maybe I am. <laughs> and did she perform them like that when the recording I happened? Think she tried she had to. a she had a bash. I would say <laughs> she, she's she not an bash. actress. <gasps> no, she's fantastic. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, no, like, but I mean, she. Her, it must be weird. Playing yourself. I mean, I know stand up, you're a version of yourself, but actually acting. Yeah, but you're not acting. And you're also, also yeah. it's somebody else has written your line. So I think that yeah. was her issue. She was like, well, I wouldn't say that. Yeah. I would say something else. Well, then she should bloody improvise. <laughs> Listen, Lulu, I mean, I loved her. Yeah. A lot of time for her. Oh, my God. She was that... on um, Jules Holland this year, wasn't she? Was she? Mm. And she then, was. I watched she that. still got it. I thought, is she going to make it? She did just I thought, make it. I was convinced. That, did you watch the latest Masked Singer series? No, just oh clip. My oh, my God. Hello. Just clip the mother box, okay? You, it's like, that would be I'm like I'm too busy dream. on Channel 5. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm too busy keeping up with the like, thousand pounds. You're like Masked Singer. A bit highbrow for me. A bit highbrow for me. Sorry. <laughs> but um, she, I was convinced that Panda was her. Me and Dan were like, was that Natalie and Brulia? It was Natalie yeah. bloody and Brulia. Incredible. How yeah. convinced were you? Were you tweeting? Oh, yeah. No, I no. I wasn't tweeting, but we were in a, we've got a WhatsApp group. And I was like, it's, we she were was like, tweeting to me. Are you in this WhatsApp group as oh, well? Oh, God, yeah. 
Oh my God. So you're like, I just don't understand you sometimes because I feel Why? like you're super passionate about this and then the aliens conversation you just shut down and moved on. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's like she I knows what she likes. Yeah, Mars Singer. She's but... got a logical brain. So Mars Singer, it's in the real world. There is an end goal. She likes a quiz. She a likes puzzle. a challenge. She likes I like a puzzle. She likes to guess, and she knows. Week eight, we will find out if it's Lulu or not. Whereas okay? with the aliens, I'm like, it's never not, ending. It's, if it's if it's on Channel Five, there's not going to be she a big conclusion. A line. Saying, but you have to start the rumor about so the aliens are credited as performers in the credits. What, then in the, I started wait, 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 a rumor that the they channel? were. Do you remember uh, when your school went to see Woman in Black? Are we back on Spice? Girls? And everyone was like, <laughs> and she doesn't actually exist because you know, have you seen the play Woman in Black? Oh, right? I love yeah. it. And then everyone's <gasps> like, but there's only two actors credited. So uh, she's not there. What? It's a ghost play. I've Woman just had goosebumps from you saying that, and I have no idea what any of that meant. But it Woman gave me in Black is incredible. It's it. You know we went to see Ghost Story. I lost my fucking. So mind. I'd say it's Love scarier ghost than Ghost Story. Love, Love Ghost, ghost Story. Story. Woman in Black. When you're a kid, it's like the scariest thing you'll ever see. I I don't. It's know. It's more scary than Ghost Story. What was story? I like yeah. in Ghost Story? Awful. I was. We were in the front row. We got day seats, and it, this is how like vocal we were at the end the cast gave us a round of applause because we've been so <laughs> insane <laughs> what the fuck i was just like you know i, I just that thing in the theater where you're like they're going to be coming at me there, there's people and i was like they're going to be touching me they're going to be under the seat oh wait is this ghost story 222 no this no. is wait, I'm getting confused. Yeah. i have seen that as well because i saw that one and that was it wasn't like no, no i think this was but, called i um, think this was called ghost stories it was the one with like reese shearsmith and it was, Andy it Nyman. was much more visceral. It's Ghost Story 222, is that what it's called? It's more like a play, like just a scary but, play. Yeah. Was, more like... Wait, was this like sketches? Like one yes, after years ago? Yes. I did see this. Yes, terrifying. That was mad. That was fucking mad. Where yeah. like literally like there'll be bits where all the lights would go off in the theatre and then you're like, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a demon. <laughs> that is there. And I lost my but mind. But I love that. Like I get sweet. Oh, yeah. Like Women in Black, I know I, there's certain seats I know not saying because I've seen it like yeah. 10 times. So I know where I'm going. But like immersive theatre does that for me more mm. like when I've got to run it have you ever seen a punch drunk show is it yeah. those fucking hell they stress me out because I'm like I don't know if I'm doing it right I'm like, I need to make sure I'm going to the, re the best bit of it do you know what I mean I know what you mean when it's over like several levels and you're like I don't want to get stuck with some like somebody who went to you know who's like that's the beauty of it Rose that's the beauty you've got to go you on your own know. journey yeah but I don't want to be stuck with some like drama school person who's like me? you know just yeah exactly <laughs> yeah. and then you're and then you're stuck in a room with him for three hours and you're like I'm sure there's big stuff just going to on make this clear, if anyone who's listening does not know what we're talking about <laughs> Punch Drunk is an immersive theatre company we're clearly all three people who took GCC drama way too seriously <laughs> I think my impression was good I think it was perfect hey, come over here <laughs> it's like that. an audience arrive and then you get actors coming up to you and they've built a whole world usually in a warehouse and they take you around the story yeah. but you can follow different stories but usually there's a finale in one big room all together and they're fucking terrifying but I so good I, I got chased with a chainsaw like... once in one of them <laughs> in Manchester in a warehouse was that an immersive theatre piece or did you get lost along the way a hundred, I went with this girl called Ruth Perrin she's fucking babe and she booked tickets I'd never been to one before and then we had to sign something before we went in and I was like oh my god and you put, they put us in a lift but the contract said something like you'll be entering a dream world please be prepared that this dream will become a nightmare <gasps> and i was like great i will leave when the nightmare hits you know but you can't no. and they said you look for red curtains and the red curtains are exits and i was like good to know good to know fucking hell the first thing you have to do is crawl through a clown's mouth I was like, <laughs> what sort of dream is this <laughs> Fucking giving a full on head to Krusty. Like, I'm not doing it. was, yeah. And I got lost like five times and I could never find the red curtain at the right time. Yeah. Yeah. I, no, not for me. Not for me at all. Thank you very much. I just think that, like, and also I feel like at the end, you know, when you meet back up with your friends and they're like, oh my God, I literally had the most incredible experience. I like <laughs> saw, I saw my own birth and like they like showed me the future. I understand the meaning of life. That's and ayahuasca. Then, yeah. But then, you, but then you've been with, hello, follow me, follow me. Stay in the room and you're like, ah. Oh, you're that's... there going like, Rada? Yeah. Rada, yeah. Lambda? Really yeah. good. Really and your good. smile just becomes more and more fixed as it's going on. Like, oh, he's still doing it. I'd love to create yeah. immersive theatre. I would. I would love to be like, like the director of one of them. Yeah, but how, like, no, where would effort. we do it? She's so good at producing, she'd be able to do it. Oh, I'm really good at this I'd love to do it in Hamleys or something like that. A toy one. Like a big toy Evil store, toys. but then the toys come alive, yeah. people come out from behind. Oh my God, I love it. 
and right? like yeah exactly and like there's people in big furry suits and they just cut they all yeah did you come to my immersive piece at uni when i dyed my hair pink tell me more Don't you're gonna remember? have to say wait did you actually is this a joke I did it. Well, I can't remember Andrew, what project this was. Andrew, prepare yourself to cringe. <laughs> I oh, cannot yeah. wait. Well, I can't remember what project this was. It was immersive. It was. I did stop animation, stop motion animation as part of it, where I had to paint myself blue very slowly. It took ages. <laughs> paint a tiny bit blue, film it. Tiny bit blue, film it. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Dyed my hair pink, and it was like a rave experience. When they came in, I was like, Stood up on a plane by yourself in a room. No, there was a group of us. But was that I... the one where Lewis got his knob out? Nah, that was uh, that that was based on what's that book? Um, what's that book? Talk, you're gonna Knights, have to say more words. Knights of the Circus is that a book? Yes, Angela Carter. Angela Knights of the Carter. Circus. That's when he got what his knob out. What is happening? That's what a boy. A boy at uni got his knob out on stage. Fair play to him. Did you get full marks? Don't think he did. No, <laughs> it wasn't. Wait, so did you both study drama at uni? Yeah, with English. With English. Stop it. Best production you were part of? Obviously, oh. apart from the one where Lewis got his knob out. W- which... Was the knob out part of the story or was that like an embellishment? I would say no it one was else, not. No dram- one else chose to get their knob yeah, out. Yeah, I would say oh. narratively it was not integral to the piece. Right. But do you remember how important it was to do something shocking? Like, I didn't do mm. drama at uni, but I remember for like college and stuff like that, you wanted to do like a shocking moment. Mm. Like, at RGC Drama, there was a group who um, were doing a show about meat about the meat industry. <laughs> and um, he just kept throwing like bones at the audience. Uh, <laughs> it was once, amazing. We once did a production, that we weren't in it, I directed it. And Congrats. Camille did the, thank you. Camille did the, uh, was doing like, what were you doing? Like the stage management. Stage management and production. Sorry. I was Camille's, stage management phase. I, yeah. Yeah. Five years, I absolutely obsessed. fell into She got it. into RADA to do stage management. Turned, Turned it down for sketch comedy. Shut, Shut up. I did NYT stage management and I did apply to a drama school to do stage management, but then I didn't go to the interview because it made loved me cry. It. I loved but, it. Yeah. Oh. Um, what but, were you, ASM, DSM, SM? Oh, I've tried them all, but my favourite, oh. probably probably D. Yeah, me too. Is that the one of the, the book? Yeah. 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 So she was, so it was a production of a play called Buried Child. Actually, I think we were le- legally not allowed to do it, so I'll just, just cut that out. Um, <laughs> so I'll, I'll, I'll say it again. Um, yeah, we were doing this production which needed... I won't go into it. It wasn't bones. a script. It needed bones. It needed a bones. Like, like a human body. bones? Yes. And Camille bought a reduced chicken from Sainsbury's but didn't cook it did like no I cooked it no 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 but you didn't cook it you left it in the fridge for a while because you were like well I'm not going to eat it so it doesn't oh, matter I if see. it goes out of date further yeah. because I'm oh, just going to cook it for the fuck's sake, she man. boiled up the most rancid chicken you boiled have boiled it up or did you roast it I boiled it and then I roasted the bones and her housemate said that the house just <laughs> stank of death for months <laughs> afterwards and the bones stank like at the end of the play just throughout the play because they were backstage <laughs> this smell would just wave over you through the theatre until the character like brought them out at the end and it was genuinely horrific because it was like well they, they smell of a death commitment yeah, but also, for my um, art you needed to look a human bone. A chicken carcass does not look like a human bone. I'd say it was no? quite effective. It was, it was. It's long, it's long buried. It's long buried. And did no part of you ever think, oh, I'll just go to a butcher's and just ask for their leftover bones? No. That's think. weird. <laughs> no. <laughs> that, didn't, that never... That never occurred. That sounds very powerful, though. Oh, it was good. I think it was quite a good production, wasn't it? It was. Yeah. yeah got someone to shave their head for it one of the main characters oh my god the power of drama when yeah, you're younger yeah. and you're just sort of like honestly you're gonna have to you're shave your whole to. head even now i'd love to get a part where it was well like you had to shave your head yeah really yeah or or like how about you have to come on this on podcast like... next time with a shaved head <laughs> 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 yeah. you've been cast in trusty hogs the musical <laughs> She will do it. How about every time Catherine's busy, you guys come on and we start building up our immersive theatre play? <laughs> Camille has short hair each time. Yeah. Well, short hair, I'm painted blue, and then you've got pink hair and together with a stop motion. <laughs> Andrew, what part do you want to play? The bone? Uh, that feels like not very involved as a part. Okay. Oh my god, it's an impact role as far as I was concerned. Yeah, but that's 100% I feel like you're, okay. Yeah, you you you're not you're not getting a lot of stage time, but when you do, it's literally yeah. like. Oh All right, I'll god. take that. I'll take that. I think you'd be good at it. What would you? Is there a part you'd really love to play? 
Um, what characters are they? Talk, well, talk well, the characters. Well, like, I always devising it. Be, oh, I see. Oh, brilliant, fantastic. School, I always wanted to play like a really tragic, broken yeah. woman, like mm. who was like on the bottle and all confused. Yeah. And on the bottle. But I always got like you know big lass who's loud. Like mm -hmm. I never yeah. got these sort of like. I wanted so, to be like Marilyn Monroe. Uh -huh. right. I think I'd want your parts then, because I, I was t telling you earlier, I'd love to be Miss Trunchbull in Matilda. That would yeah. be a three oh. Yeah. I think you'd be a good Miss Trunchbull. Thank you. But I was saying I'd find it hard to play Miss Trunchbull and not be on stage for When I Grow Up, because it's the best song, in it? Oh my goodness, I you should do- I only just saw it recently, amazing. I haven't seen it to my show. Yeah. You'd love it. Oh, it's really good. It's yeah. Magical. You should do a one woman Matilda, Helen. You know, I did. <laughs> never been released comedy central this is honestly four years ago they were going that is so mad they were going through a phase of wanting comedians to do online content for their like ones to watch or whatever and they made us do like loads of different things and one of the things they were like would could we get comedians to do like a minute but do a whole film in a minute and i was like i want to do that one i'll do the whole of matilda because i'm like I just think it's the best film of all time. Incredible. It's so flawless. It's fantastic. And like you could do the chocolate cake really quickly. Yeah. And like obviously the main court, like Mrs. Wormwood. Like we're going yeah. to the main now. <laughs> like I fucking, <laughs> you chose books, I chose looks. Yeah. Like all the hits. And um, and the best line in it, obviously. Uh, we learned how to spell difficulty with a poem. A poem, what would that be? And they're like, Mrs. D, Mrs. I. And then she's like, why are all these women married? <laughs> 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 But they never released it. They released a video of me being like, comedy's really fun. And it's like, So oh. somewhere in the ether. Somewhere in Comedy Central, in the Viacom MTV offices Listen, in Camden. Somebody out there is sitting on a fucking gold mine. Release yeah. the tape. Really? Release the tape. Release the tape. Start the campaign. We need to start a social media campaign. It's me, aged like 27, doing Matilda in a minute and really panicking that I'm not going to make it in time and do justice to the film. Oh, what? So like... Like as Danny in... DeVito's going to see it and be like, <laughs> oh, she really missed a trip So wait, there. so as in you didn't... You, they didn't cut. It wasn't like cut together. You literally no, no. had to be single frame, one minute, go. Yeah. yeah. Props and costume. Yeah. You do magic. No, I didn't do magic. I've got a minute. I want to make, and also she doesn't do magic. She uses her powers. Okay, well, how are you gonna? How are you gonna? How did you? You know, it's, it's some kind of string, and that's like. Ooh. No, you just do Cheerios knocking over. Oh yeah. Mm. I know it's not the full on do 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 do. You should have had someone off screen throwing a newt at your face. That's what happens, isn't it? Should have, would have, could have. It's not on her face actually. It's on her bust. Okay, fair that's enough. all right. Don't feel bad. Sorry. Don't feel you bad. You have like a photographic memory of things you've watched. I think I what you got confused with is Parent Trap with Meredith with the iguana oh going down her face. God. Happens all the time. That Don't film, I rewatched it um, over the festive period. It's a masterpiece. It is. Lindsay it is. Lohan should have got an Oscar for that. Absolutely fantastic performance. It's incredible. Is she still it's incredible. these days? I don't know. I saw an article come up on my phone the other day being like, I can't believe we've all been saying Lindsay Lohan's name wrong the whole time. What and I nearly name? clicked Lindsay on it, Lohan? but then I had to go. And I was like, damn it. I don't know. I think it's probably like we found Lohan? out. Lohan? Lohan? Oh, that's nice. Maybe. Like Rowan? She's doing very well for herself, though, I think, in general. Good. Do you remember during Brexit where she suddenly was on Twitter, like when the vote, when the things were coming through and like Kettering was one of the first results and they voted leave and she started tweeting, Kettering, what are you doing? <laughs> no. Yeah, she was really suddenly involved in the Brexit vote and she was fuming with, with Kettering. Sorry, I'm now thinking, could we do like a mass theatre piece where Lindsay Lohan would be in it? How well is she doing and would she be up for she it? Did, she did do a British... Um... She did a British drama, so not not too long ago. What? What? A, a drama? Series, like a comedy drama. Yes, but um, because... We did a read-through, We Rose. did a read This, yes, she did, it's called Sick Note. And Sick Note, Kim that and was I it. got um, one you of the worst... With her? Well, no, this is she the thing. Wasn't so. There. This is the, we did one of the most one of the most sort of like uh, least rewarding jobs that uh, an actor can do, which is where they go. We're making a show. Um, do, we are doing a read through. We've already cast it, but somebody can't come. Will you just come and read the parts like a little rat? So we were re rat. we went to read the the, part, the parts of the people, and they always say to you like, "Oh, we've still got a few little parts to cast, so you never know." And then you get there, and you you're like, "They've all been cast. We're we don't, we're not in." So anyway, we we were. There. But and you got I was all like, dressed up, ready to. Yes, oh, yes. You've got your makeup on. on. You've got your makeup Resident, on. You glasses on. Yes, <laughs> yes. And um, one of my parts was this was this mad American woman, and I was like, 
what is this part that I'm reading? It's really hard like I, to perform. I was like, who is the person? Yeah. And they hadn't, you know, when they normally say like, who's playing it, it didn't say. <gasps> so I was thinking, am I in with a chance of Mad American Woman? Because for once, this hasn't been cast. <laughs> Two days later, I see the release. Lindsay Lohan's playing it. Lindsay Lohan. I reckon it was I close. Lindsay Lohan's I reckon part. it was close really between was. the two of you. But yeah, she did. So she's, you know, she's coming over to the UK. We could maybe get her involved. I just think she'd be up for it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, do we need to wrap up this episode now? Or can we do this in the extras, do you think? Can uh, we yeah, talk we can about do the We should do a problem as well. And, oh, my um, God, I forgot about this. <laughs> and it is Lindsay Lohan, apparently. I, I, I just Lohan. Googled it. Lohan, yeah. Lohan. Lindsay, Lindsay Lohan. Lohan. I was right. Yeah, you were correct. Lohan. Oh, Sounds like right. lion in German. Lindsay Lohan. Lohan. Lindsay Lohan. Lohan. We all enjoyed yours. We did, but it was wrong, my love. <laughs> okay? And I'm glad that it Ruth was wrong. Was right, I am. Yeah? I think so. Don't patronise me. No, upset it, if it was wrong. I do love being right. <laughs> do you want to hold hands for a little bit? Well done, Rose. That was really sweet. Oh. Do you want to do a listener problem? Yeah. Love to, actually. So they send in problems. Mm-hmm. They're anonymous, but I usually guess. Um. <laughs> yeah, because how? Are they sending that, seems... that via encrypted email? Yeah. Or? I don't have the email uh, login. I've got all the Andrew details. has the email so login. You know who they I are. I am the gatekeeper of Do all this Do you actually this know, though? Can you figure it out? Uh, yeah, most people just send it with their name attached. <laughs> I always assume it's like the queen. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yes. She's on bed rest. She's fucking messaging. Yeah. In, like 100%. in the very early days, uh, a couple of the problems we list, what we read out were actually my problems because we didn't have enough emails. And I didn't, <gasps> and I didn't tell you or Catherine. <laughs> we were like, oh my yeah. God, this is so great. We've got so many problems in. And then it turns out we were just like, well, just, what's wrong with this person? And it was just <laughs> true. Oh, thing. Oh, okay. And Andrew was like, I'm trying to make you feel better that you haven't had anyone writing in. Yeah. <laughs> slating me. Because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. we so forgot sweet. to, oh, oh, actually, that's a good point we should ask please do email and problems too is it trustyhogs at gmail.com it is indeed yes. i am so good at doing this without Catherine. listen you're mm-hmm. flying oh <laughs> please rate and review us and hit the subscribe button and press like on youtube, YouTube yeah. and follow all of us yes follow all of all of us yes. here and uh follow listen trusty to the birthday hogs girls podcast well. and listen to the birthday girls podcast Our party. Yes. It's First called, up, li- oh, yes, yeah, sorry, it's called one. Birthday Girls House Party. Helen's been on it. I've been Listen on it. that one mm. first. Yes, Great gateway episode. It was a magical, we did a magical it, yeah. day. It was just basically talking about my favourite subject, just reality TV. Yeah. Or as you referred to it as trash TV, was it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I was like, the great TV. <laughs> 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 it's fine. I know where I stand. I've got expert. Yeah, it's fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay? okay. We're all chill? Yeah, yeah. Let's solve a fucking problem. Please. Okay. Andrew, hit us. Uh, this is from X. Ooh. Professor. Uh, X. Yes, correct. Professor X from X Men. Um, dear Andrew, uh, Catherine, Helen. Um, obviously, you, you two are collectively Catherine in this situation. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Do this... the accent. <laughs> you sh- go on. So what happened? Basically, is we were going to do the problem, and then we started talking about food, and that went on for what did you say about twenty something minutes? Oh yeah, at least minimum. Yeah, long yeah. <laughs> time. Minimum. So now, God, we're so self-absorbed. We don't want to hear anyone else's problem. We even started yeah. the letter, didn't we? We got yeah, as far I, as I, their name. I X. literally said, "Dear Andrew, Catherine, and Helen," and then we stopped. Next we thing you know, everyone's stopped. describing how, their favourite meal deal. How we, yeah, how did we get on to meal deals? From you can that? hear the meal deals in the extras yeah. for the yeah, Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Trusty Hogs. Um, where there will be a moment where you will hear me arguing with Camille being yelled at by Rose. I'll say yelled. Yeah, it was yelled because apparently I made a breath intake wrong. Thanks for sticking up for me, mate. Yeah, well, all I'll say is it's all been captured on film, so yeah. tell it to the judge. I've got the audio, like the... the <laughs> yeah, Andrew, we it's know not... it's recorded. We know. Obviously, we know that. There's cameras there. Sorry, very, very stressed and very I feel hungry. like we're not coming to this, going to be coming to this problem with a caring, empathetic out, uh, like outlook. Oh, do charity work. That's my answer <laughs> to every problem. Oh, do some charity work. Because then Should the karma will solve your problem. Right, let's actually fucking right, hear okay. it. Everyone shut up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I want a subway. <laughs> <laughs> so it's got quite dramatic, this one. Uh, oh, there's a bit God. of backstory as well. Okay. Oh, God. Uh, this summer, my cousin's husband was found kissing her best friend. <gasps> Wait a minute, my cousin's husband. husband. Hang on, hang on, I need to go back. Found kissing my... the cousin's best friend. The cousin's best friend, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. I'm still I'm doing fully the maths invested. Here. Basically an affair. Yeah, no, I'm aware of that, Camille. Right. I'm just trying to... <laughs> Should I, should I pretend that I'm doing this from the point of view of the spurned woman? So no, that might we, make it clearer? We, 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 no, no, we get it. it. Okay, you're on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm no, sorry, no, 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 I've got it, I've got it, uh, yeah. Just so I might add to the my drama of it. My cousin's husband, sorry. yeah, yeah. Yeah, got it. Right. yeah, yeah. Got it. Fuck. 
<laughs> uh, the best friend has a boyfriend, so the, she's also having an affair yeah, with the husband. Yeah, I would say we're just kissing, but still, the best friend claims that the husband came onto her. Takes there was a tango. big fight, indeed. The best friend took a temporary job on the other side of the country. My cousin and her husband are in cu couples counselling. <gasps> her best friend came back uh, for the holidays to visit and invited the cousin and the husband out for a night. What? Uh, oh my god! Which yeah, but, but but apparently there's a little note here. Uh, everyone, uh, the couples counsellor, the set, her, this person, and everyone else in the family advised against them all yeah, hanging of out. Course. Yes. As in, when you say out, I mean maybe it's going to say out drinking. Out, out, like night out. out. Yeah, yeah, night out. Tiger, tiger. Yeah. As a three. Uh, this is in as America, by the way. So it's not, oh, not all by one. Yeah, all as a three. Oh, it's yeah. in America. Okay, then. Oh, I think like, I think I know what's coming. Yeah. Continue. They all went, and the boyfriend was added. Um, and the boyfriend of the the friend the friend yeah. was added. So there's all four of them out there. Double it, date. Yeah. Hell. This, Come on four way. This, Come on um, four way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was yeah. like, it's going to be a threesome, but yeah. now I'm thinking. Okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Andrew's, uh, Andrew's stopped working. <laughs> um, I'm just trying to figure, work out what it gets My very confusing. They, uh, they, so they all went, all four of them. Over the course of the evening, the boyfriend of the 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 best friend mm -hmm. pulled the cousin aside mm -hmm. and confessed that uh, his girlfriend had strong feelings for the cousin's husband. <gasps> so the two spurned lovers, they've gone off to the side and the boyfriend has said to the cousin, look, I, my girlfriend loves your husband. Q, huge confrontation. <gasps> to make matters worse, her parents-in-law were, were hospitalized for COVID. This is like a proper like um, kind of, uh, what's the what's the phrase? Nightmare. Uh, nightmare. It's an Italian novella, yeah. yeah. I'm novella. so involved. Her parents in law were hospitalized for COVID um, and uh, there'd be deaths in the family, all sorts going wrong. Oh my so God. So there's a lot of kind of support in the family needed. But instead, uh, this is what's happened. This is this dramatic situation. Um, how can the, the cousin. How, so no, this I'm is the, not equipped to answer what, this. What, this is, I, I don't. Well, I am, wait, I am. I'm so lost. <laughs> um, so this is, this is the cousin now asking, how can she not get involved to to beat up this fool i don't know who the fool is in this situation i assume the the best friend the or best the friend yeah yeah how can the her cousin oh right i see yeah, yeah. How, how how can she offer support to her cousin who's going through all this relationship drama mm -hmm. and um uh, how, and accept that uh that maybe this isn't a problem she can step in how can she and they're in america how can she navigate this situation exactly and yeah how... support yeah. well yeah. i mean that's the best best answer is how do we navigate in america, the situation first instinct 100 percent would be to take your cousin to dollywood i think you've got access to it it's dolly parton's thing <laughs> i think if you're going through a rough time that's where i would head that'd be my instinct Straight in. Straight into it does, I think going away for a trip, getting away from it all does sound good. I think so. A heartbreak mm -hmm. and a trip go so hand in hand. Difficult with family needing support with COVID problems, though. Like, Buckham. can Buckham. they get away? Fuck them. You've got to go Dollywood. I Dolly think, Woods. you know, and I think with all these scenarios, it's always like the advice is don't go all in with hating on the husband in case they don't break up and then you fucked him. Yeah. I'd say in this, you can, because mm -hmm. I just but think... But no, it's the... It, but, but yeah, he should not have kissed his wife's best friend, sure. But we're being told that it was kind of getting resolved. The best friend went away, and then it's the best friend that says, "Oh, actually, I'm in love with the husband." But she we also don't know the said that feels. he was the one that came on to her, right? Yeah. So she said that he's come on to me. Yeah. He moves away. They come back, and then the boyfriend of the, of the best, best friend, friend said that she's she's still so in love I, with you. Why instinct... is the boyfriend there still? Can someone on Twitter draw us up like a family tree? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that would be much tweet appreciated. Tweet to Rose, Camille, and me and Andrew, so we can just yeah. I feel like we've got it, but just so listeners can see it as well. Yeah, that would be good. Yeah, because I think that this thing of the, her saying he came on to me. I think not true. Mm. If she's now really? saying I'm in love with her, him, I, you know, he, he, well, no, she's not saying that, but her husband is. I think not true. First of all, I'd be like telling her, sack your best friend. So I think yeah. there's a lot to deal with here, but like, let's deal with the heartbreak. This cousin who's had the heart broken. Yes. Right? Deal with that. Like, it's double them all. But also, it's they double need to heartbreak move on. because it's, it's, heartbreak. it's your husband and it's your best friend, which but I would yeah. say personally, Worse. Worse. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm imagining now if it was us. That's right. what I'm thinking. Like we're 
best friends you with are. BT. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> who we will have on at some point. BT is our third birthday girl member. Like we're best friends. And if I found out that Camille and Dan had been kissing. Yeah. I mean, devastation. I but mean, you'd still go out for a meal with all four of you. All yeah, and then like, go out. <laughs> and then James said to me, Camille is in love, is in love with, with Dan. Dan. I mean, it's just a mad, it is a mad scenario. But I think I this person, say... if they're genuinely asking for advice, you just need to be there for your cousin. Yeah. Yeah. This person has gone through such a significant loss, such a heartbreak, such a betrayal. They need to know that there's people who are there for them uh, and they're not fucking them over. And also, mm-hmm. yeah. crucially, that you're not trying to, like, solve it. Don't, you, you can't, don't, you know, I think the advice is, f- for me, to be, like, not trying to be, like, how can I solve this? How can I make it better? You can't. You but just have to be you there. Can and be there and show unconditional yeah, love. Yeah, that's it. Mm-hmm. And just let listen. this person know when they think that they can't trust anyone, that everyone, like they're unlovable, that they are lovable. Also. And you can do that at Dollywood. <laughs> <laughs> or I would say if you if Dollywood isn't on the cards, I would also be like, in a very kind, caring way, be like, this is a really fucking difficult situation. If you're not if you're not in therapy, it would like definitely speak to a therapist about it because it's mm. an incredibly difficult situation to navigate. Mm-hmm. For sure. I will say with Dollywood though, is there is a risk if you go and then you hear Jolene, that might be incredibly triggering. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, at the end of the day, life will throw you triggers when yeah. you've gone through When you break up like with this. someone, everything you see, you might see a Boots meal deal and it reminds you of the person you loved. There oh, you go. they would have got this. Yeah. And if yeah, I'm yeah. going to be triggered, I'd rather it be at a theme park. That's fair, yeah. Like, if I'm triggered at Thought Park, it's very different from being triggered on the tube. That's just me. It's just very difficult mm-hmm. because, like, the person, if, if your best friend had fucked you over, you the person you'd want to speak to is your husband. And if your husband had fucked you over, the person yeah. you'd want to speak to is your best friend. But they're, they've both done it. Yeah. Your... So as the cousin, I would say you don't have to make yourself, like, I've got to get involved. I've got to go around and say this and say that. Mm-hmm. But you've just got to make sure your cousin knows if they want you to do anything that you will yeah rather than imposing it and like don't be judgy because that your cousin might be like i'm sorry but i still really love him yeah mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. we're gonna work through it mm-hmm. and blah 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 and if that is what they want to yeah. do then you also have to support that love and support that's all it is love isn't it just give that and also love and i would say just pop in at, you know Put on the table the suggestion that the cousin fucks the hus- the other husband. I was thinking about this, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just if you want to, be- that's a very neat payback. Yeah. She might feel better. Yeah. You know what, I hadn't thought about that, and that's a really lovely point. Thank you. What you just said there is three morons. <laughs> Not understanding Revenge a problem, shag. vaguely understanding it, trying their best and then ruining it at the last second. I mean, it's that like... That calculates this show, does it not? It really does, what, what but do you want? usually does a really good summary. And I oh. feel like... No, no, oh my God. Okay, why, <laughs> why the fuck am I getting death stares right now from both of you? I think Camilla <laughs> Rose has done a fantastic a job, actually. That's not all morons. You, you said, said three, three morons. morons. <laughs> That means one of us in this room is not a moron. Also, we need to submit this to extenders. <laughs> Why are you holding a screwdriver? We, Can you put a screwdriver <laughs> We need... <laughs> <laughs> to fucking submit this to EastEnders because we could get three months out of this storyline. Oh, like, easy, three, easy. No, two. Because there's no death. There's no sort yeah, of like baby death being born. Yeah, there's death in the family. I told you that detail. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, we didn't see you on YouTube. Andrew just waved his phone at the end. Went, there's been death in the family. Great news, guys. Oh, there's been death in the family. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Thank Mills you so much for hand. coming on Trusty Hogs. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone's listened to the whole episode, feel free to let us know. I will genuinely be impressed because this went through a lot of different topics very quickly. This has mm-hmm. been mad. I'd say it's been great fun. I've, it. I've, it. I've had a lovely time. I just mm. think I'm, I'm thinking about the listener. Yeah, they will probably be needing to listen to it on like half speed. Well, a couple of people yeah. listen to this when they go to sleep. <laughs> oh wow! And I'm just like maybe yeah. just. I'm sorry if you have fallen asleep to this. But also, oh, but I've listened to some episodes of this to fall asleep to. No, and I would say you, you, you you're, you've got a wild misconception of how sedate it normally is. <laughs> I think Catherine makes it calm, and then I sort of she bring tries. it up. But then I feel like both of you are both like, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I was just reenacting the scene from Spice World where the alien does that to Jerry. Oh, very good, very good. (laughs) Well, let's hold hands. Yeah. Um, Rose, please, can you plug your socials? Please follow, well, first of all, please follow Camille and me's 
eyes uh, sketch Uh-oh. group. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll do that again. Um, please follow Camille and I <laughs> at B Day Girls Comedy, mm. uh, which is our main Twitter account where we tweet about our podcast, Birthday Girls House Party. Which is amazing. Yeah, you'll amazing love guests. it. I fucking love it. Yeah, it's we great. just overshare so much. Um, I think if you like this pod, you would you like, like that. Oh, yeah, I agree. 100%. It's the better version of Trusty Hogs. <laughs> and 100%. You, and you can find me at Rose Jono on Twitter and Instagram. And that's R O S E J O H. N-N-O. As always, they'll both be tagged in this. So like, yes. You can just follow I'm at Camille Uchan. C-A-M-I-L-L-E. <laughs> one more time, my love. One more time, my love. Come on now. Come on. C-A-M-I-L-L-E. U-C-A-N. Thank you very much for listening. Seattle. What does he say at the end of it, Fraser? Oh, um... um, um oh, this uh, is... Oh, no, we can't end it like you this. You just... Oh. Um, Oh, you've been listening to Dr. Fraser. Thank you so much for listening. Bye. 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 He has a sign off, I swear. He does. We so appreciate the support. Please help us keep the podcast going. Thank you so much to our exec producers, Guy Goodman, Simon Moores, Ganina Bautista and Mary Fox. We are so grateful. And thank you also to our wonderful producers. Yes. Melissa Dunkel, Harry Duke. Sarah and Molly, Aideen McQueen, Caitlin Liff, Joe Holmes, mm. Zoe, Kim Doyle, Lee Myers Cough, is that how I say it? Yeah, that's it. Rachel R, David Walker, Tim and Dom, Kira Leach, S Dubs, L, Richard Ball, Sadie Cashmore, Neil Redmond, Claire Owen Jones, Jess and Nick, Victoria Hutchison, Emma Walton, Anthony Conway, Karen and David Bull, Harold Van Dyke. We're so grateful. Oh, watching that list grow, it's so nice. Makes me feel like it's Valentine's Day every day. Oh, behave yourself in that she is almost coming, but not quite. Oh my God, it's all happening so